What's up, Hip Hop Central here. So I got a new video today. I'm going to be talking about three rappers that got finessed by their managers. Now, it could be either taking their money or just not fucking with them. Just trying to get money off their name. Now, before I start this, I want y'all to drop a like, subscribe. I hope you enjoy. Alright, so first on the list, I got Lil Xan. Now, uh, this actually gave me the idea for the video. So in this video, he's uh, downstairs in the parking garage with his car. And he's scraping the whole front of it up, saying the manager locked his keys out because he don't got his license. He's all made about that, and he says he also has no access to his bank account. So he's pretty much controlled by his whole manager. I mean, he can't really do what he wants because of that, which is kind of fucked up because it's his money and it's his things. So check it out right here. All the way. <laughs> Fucking door. Want to know why I'm doing that? Because of mental fucking illness. All this materialistic shit don't mean shit in the world. And when they won't let you do, I'm owned. I'm a fucking slave. I'm a slave to my management. I'm a slave to everybody. I don't get control of my license. I don't get control of my bank account. I don't get control of shit. I can't even drive that fucking car. They put it in the basement so I couldn't take it. I know I don't have a license, but if I have someone with the license, I can take it. So fuck everybody. This is mental fucking illness. I don't care. Make fun of me. I'm gonna make fun of me on the internet. I don't give a fuck. Look at this shit. $150,000. $150,000. You want to see some? Look. Fuck that shit. All right, so next one on the list, I got Cardi B. So she's being sued by her manager for $10 million right now. Well, it was her ex-manager. But uh, I saw this article that said uh, a while back she had a big show for $100,000. And her manager took half it. So she only got 50 k for the show. And her manager got half pretty much just for being her manager, which is kind of fucked up because that's mostly her money. She was going out and doing a performance and whatnot. So check it out right here. One day they fuck with you and the next day they don't. And that's one thing that I noticed a lot with fame. A lot with fame. There's a lot of people that I had to cut off. A lot of friends, a lot of management, a lot of people that I had to cut off because one thing I noticed that people don't give a fuck about you. There's so many people that started. All right, so last on the list, I got Rico Reckless. Now, allegedly, his manager stole three thousand dollars from him when he was in prison. So I guess uh, right now, Rico Reckless is just his own manager, which I mean is kind of smart because he can see all the money coming in and knows everything's right. But also, managers are able to get you shows and get you booked for different things like interviews and whatnot. So check it out right here. Bitch ass nigga sold wolf. His dad stole like three thousand from him. So I'ma count that twice for his dumb ass. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Watch this. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Watch this. Fuck. Hold on. Watch this. Hold on. 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 Hold if you're an upcoming rapper, definitely keep an eye out for managers trying to steal your shit. I mean, just make sure the money's right. It's all adding up and shit. So I appreciate all y'all watching. Peace. It has a crazy flow. I mean, it's different from, like, any other rapper in the game right now. So, I mean, he definitely deserves a spot. But um, I'm pretty sure Trivia Red did say he made the list, like, a couple months back. He said, thanks, XXL or something. So he'll definitely be on the list. Uh, now, next is Blockboy JB. Uh, I mean, I don't know a lot of it.